Hi, I'm Tare, and welcome to Open Rocket. This is gonna be your rocket tutorial. Um, when you start your rocket, you would most likely want to begin with the nose cone, which is what my mouse is over. Open Rocket has many different tools, such as you can put the nose cone to the size that you would want it. This here is the length. This is the width. And wall thickness moves this right here. I'm going to tell you that multiple times throughout the video, so be sure to listen. Shoulder is, it puts an extra length onto your nose cone. In case you just want your nose cone longer. And you want to put it to the size of your nose cone so you don't want your shoulder too long because then you will have to clip your body tube which you don't really want and this is the thickness once again I don't ever mess with the override mask, but you can try it out. It puts like weight onto your rocket. This is the paint that you can use on your rocket. I use it many times. I like to change my rocket to a neon color. Here is the body tube. Body tube is one of the hardest to do on here. Hardest to size. I usually size mine at about 50 centimeters. You would want to put it to the width of your nose cone at all times or you would have a funny looking rocket the inner diameter is also like the wall thickness you want to position it to the middle of the rocket transitions I don't usually use transitions but just to show you when you put the motor in your body tube you will want to go to edit configurations, new configuration, and click on none twice. I usually use the C6, but on this, you will have to use the C11, whichever makes your rocket go faster. When you look for your motors, you want to click show all motors, or you have a list of very unimportant motors. If you want to change a part, you just double click on what's in the rocket design box here. Double click it. Or you can go down here and double click the part and it'll pull it up by itself. So if you make the transition long, then your rocket will sit on the transition, which you don't want it to do. You want it to sit on the fins. Size it to the width 
of the rocket and down here it'll tell you if it's not sized right you want to size this small if you want your rocket to go faster or if it's too big to fit the fins on here the wall thickness again just moves your center pressure after you're done click on the rocket once and it pulls up everything I usually use freeform fin set because you could do your own design here click on shape and move the little square boxes You can make your rocket fins a funny shape. Anything works. These are tabs. It puts the fins on the inside of a rocket. And just size this to about 5.0 is what you want it at. Or 5.1. 5.1 is pretty good. Now on the paint, you can use it on anything. The launch lug is what you're going to use when you fly the rocket. When it sits on the base, it slides down the rod and that's what it shoots off of. So you always have to have this on your rocket. And it's very important where you position it. Down here, you could change your view of your rocket. This is the back view, show you what your rocket looks like when you stand it up. And this is 3D. It's pretty fun to play with. Once again, just click on the rocket once when you want everything to be available. The inner components are something that you want to put on an actual rocket. On open rocket, you could put it on there, but you have to know how to. Or your rocket will burn out on test flights, which I'll show you in a minute. Always size your inner tube to the size of your rocket. Never mess with the thickness if your motor doesn't fit. And you might want it to have a little tab on it. This here is a cluster. You could usually put two of them, three of them, or four of them. It doesn't really matter. It sizes puts your rocket at pretty much an advantage. view of the rocket half done and I want this inner tube move down to a size that would be better
Sharon talked to me about this topic. There were two sheets. About what? Yeah. You will want to move it down right above the fence. So, and the radial position will have to be changed so the rod doesn't touch your fin. So you click on that one more time. Go to radial position and move it to a midsection on the rocket. Here is a coupler. I usually don't use them because they're not really necessary on your rocket. It's just something that you want if you want everything to hold in place. Here is a centering ring. This holds things like your motor mount and your launch lug. Here, this is your motor and your inner tube. You want to size your centering ring to the size of your inner tube. So you have to get that just about right there to hold your rocket in place. The parachutes, the streamers, and the shot cords. The shot cord is very important. You have to have that inside your rocket to, for your rocket to even move. We're gonna move on to flight simulations. Just click new simulation and average run speed, you wanna set it to 11.0. So change that. And depending on how good your rocket works, your motor inside your rocket that's what you want to set the wind speed to because without the motor being fast the wind speed would affect the flight of the rocket and push it down instead of going up the little green circle means that the simulation went well with warnings you want to go to plot fight and see what was wrong with it here all the squigglies those aren't good you will want something that's straight like the altitude this here that's no good and here are the flight events it'll show you everything so after you click those, you can click run simulation one more time. Plot flight. And look at it one more time. You can see the vertical velocity went up. If you take down the wind the average wind speed to put it to no wind speed. Um the length you want to change that to 500 and click run simulation it has a green check now without the warnings go to plot flight and everything went straight the altitude went higher the vertical acceleration is how high and how fast your rocket is going to go Then just as far as like if you click show data points, it'll highlight it. So that's a bit, I mean, and the plot and export is how you get to all the data. So if you want to go to it before you even run the simulations, you can go there. Thank you for listening to my open rocket tutorial.